Hello, welcome to the wish list, our weekly, bi-weekly list. Uh, we missed last week because a bunch of us were sick, but we're here. We're back. We're doing this because we're still <laughs> kind of sick. sick. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We're all still sick, but less sick. Yeah, we're, not we're, sick. we're doing it for you Sorry, guys. <laughs> this is for you. Okay, so uh, I'm Gavin. I'm Aiden. I'm Spencer. And I'm Corey. Special guest Corey still here. Special guest around. Corey still here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. So, I found a new list of six things, and since it was two weeks, hopefully there'll be a couple more interesting ones. I hope you know. so. Last time it was just like USBs and chargers. Yeah. Good old, Although, good old USBs and chargers. Cool. Hey man, last week was informative. I found out I have a kidnapping vehicle kit. I, I was, I <laughs> so was so way, more, I was way more informed after I left. Oh, I got God. such good uh, drinks on. All right. What okay. the fuck are we looking at? So the first one here is called Night Runner, and they give you 270 degrees of visibility from your shoes. Beautiful. Are these headlights for your, your shoes? Sneakers? Yes. Oh my god. Lights on your shoes. Okay, we need these, because all the time, driving around at night with people, all they do is bitch and moan about all the people who are running around at night dressed in all black, because... Fuck you! Put something on so we can see it's you, true. asshole! Do you know how many now people they've got fake? headlights? Yeah. yeah. That's amazing! Perfect. How much Best is this? Best invention ever. How much is this stuff? It okay, really um... They met their stretch goal in thir- They met their goal in 32 hours. Nice. Per- perfect. Yeah. Uh, let's see... Uh, wow, there's, there's no... What's the price? Oh, this is old. Yeah, this, uh, ended already. Go it to did... their website. Sure, yeah. Right there. Night, nightrunnergear.com. Yeah, go straight to the website. Why are we on? Why are we on the Kickstarter? So God damn it, Kevin! You're supposed to do the research. <laughs> you had one job. You had I did. The one job, and you fucked it up already. You know I think they should include. No, this? I'm putting. It's funded with Kickstarter. It it was funded it was before, funded. but now it's actually out. I believe. They should. They should. No, like, it's just pre-order the top stuff. Oh, okay. Uh, it's probably still in like production they stages. Give you, like, different yeah, lenses. it's just sure newer. Have. It was on Gizmeg, which I usually use so, to find my list. So, is it an attachment for the shoe? Yeah, or is it actually just a shoe? No, it's an attachment. It, you it, clip like, it onto to your tongue, like the tongue of your yeah. shoe. Uh, oh, it's like the it's like the little GPS they give you when you do like the Boston Marathon. And shit. Yeah, yeah, very okay. similar. Uh, here, let's check how much it is. Oh, yeah. We got a how video much? here. It's two minutes long. Don't think that we care enough to watch it. All right, it's so they're LED, they're LEDs, so they're solid. They're if bright. this is yeah. cheap, like it could be quite a yeah, good. And cheap. LEDs are cheap, so it's. Well, I mean, cheap yeah. as light bulbs go. Um, <laughs> huh. All right, so pre-order information will be available soon, TM. So there's not much information. Uh, there but... is next to nothing about these, other than they are headlights for your shoes, and I am super down with that. Uh, yeah, I'm already uh, like I'm already stoked. I almost already want one. Shut up and take my money, so Yeah, yeah. Sure shut up and take you. my money, you bitch. You know what? It was funded really, really fast. So. It's Perfect. It's a cool idea, and there's a lot of people who would get yeah, these. No, dude, it's... look, it was put on Kickstarter on the 25th. I, just a... I get these from my dad. My dad runs all the time. Okay, fine. so these it. these got funded in a day and a half. That's how that's how much people really wanted these. Obviously, this is going to be a thing. You don't have to carry anything, yeah. and when you're running, it's hard to sort of hold something in front of you anyway. The one thing you're I'd not be wearing con- a dumb, he- like, minor headband. The one thing I'd be concerned about is the weight. Like, cause if it's just floating okay, around no. on your shoes, it's going to be a real pain in the ass. Like, if you're Fair. going for a run. They look pretty secure, so they're not going to be bobbing around. But they like they don't look like they'd be very heavy. It's just little LEDs. But yeah, I, no, they I posted so. this on uh, the 23rd of February, and everything was finished... 25th. The actual thing ended on the 25th. So it's not like it's old. It's just yeah, it was it's... within the last two weeks. We missed a week, so this thing's already finished now. Yeah, yeah. makes sense. But well, yeah. probably had this ready for last week anyway. Either way. It, it was part of the list, Either yeah. way, cool. We have no idea what the price point Perfect. is on um, I imagine probably in the $30 range, if, yeah. if that. Probably nothing crazy, no. Oh, no, no. Yeah. Like, this Perfect. is something you could easily do. And, like, they're not going to die out for a long time because they're LEDs. It's, it's here, I got it right here. Here we go, here we go. Here we go. I was in the updates, because once it finishes, it auto-loads into updates. If you click the campaign option, it shows you okay, stuff about that. Right. How much? Um, 25 bucks gives you uh, a shirt. Oh, you got a shirt. 30 too. bucks. 50 bucks, sorry. Ooh, that's high. 50 bucks, uh, one pair of Night Runners, and mention on our supporter wall of fame. Yeah, they're going to have an MSRP of MSRP 70 bucks. MSRP of 70 dollars. Okay, does it say why they think it's um, worth that much? 
Oh, it's guess it's because it's like really high. Three meter beam. beam distance, USB rechargeable. They are powerful LEDs. Yeah, they are that's powerful pretty strong. LEDs. And they're um, USB rechargeable, which is a big thing. And they're 720 degrees of visibility, so like they're 270. You 270. And, yeah. What did I say? 720. 720. That's like holy shit. That's circling you twice. <laughs> How does it work? <laughs> I can see everything. 270 <laughs> degrees is quite good. I mean, like you yeah. you don't like you don't even see that. That no, that's past area. your peripheral vision. It is. As long as as long as you're looking forward, you're gonna see light. It, yeah. it, they're good. They're great. I don't yeah. see any reason why. Yeah. You would Plus, if you ever have a guy sneak up behind you, just kick him in the face. You just kick, and then you blind him at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> now, important question: Can I get there? In, can I get these in purple? Can you get? Can you get the? I imagine it's colors? black only. I think it's just the black. Maybe the clips they have different oh, no, colors. No, no, no. Of? no. It means I'm not talking about. Yeah, I'm talking about the light. light. Oh, oh what a purple LED. They should, they should include like little lenses you can put over, or just make yeah. the LEDs purple. Hey, Spencer, to be honest, you could just get like uh, theater gels and put them over. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Just get like little gels and put them over my lights. Just get like. A translucent nail polish. Yeah. Man, I just realized Perfect. I can just use these to put neons on whatever I want now. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> right. pretty okay. Pretty cool. I like them. I like them what, a lot. What, it's called Night Runners? Night yeah. Runners. They got a badass name, too. Or people riding your scooter. Or, like, or your bike. They'd just all be flying. The they, they'd be going all over the place. Well, no, they would just sort of go up and down. It would they look would really be... weird. <laughs> a little bit. All right, what's next? Or your okay, so... Like, you're just kicking away lights. <laughs> <on>. <laughs> Okay, the next one here. This is this was up put up oh, for auction. That is, is that the, the Tron bike? <laughs> these, these people made a custom Tron bike, fully Tron functioning bike. and everything. Like That's it's cool. a bike. That's it is a fully cool. functioning motorbike. Take and my they money. sold it in an auction. Take it's street legal. My money. Yes, it's street legal. 2011 custom electric motorcycle. Electric yeah. To be auctioned May the 2nd, 2015 without reserve bid. Expected to go for twenty five to forty thousand dollars. You know, if I had that kind of money, I would definitely buy this. It, it is a recreation of the so Tron Legacy motorcycle. It looks so functional amazing. electric motorcycle. Yeah, it looks so cool. It and looks it's, pretty it's electric, sick. so I mean, it's you know that's good. It's not how much. How much horsepower? Oh, there we go. It's go. It got it got the blue lights. Oh, yeah, it's got it's, got, like, it's it. got lights. It's got. Does, does does it come with the beam that will like crush anything that's behind you? <laughs> no, it, do, it doesn't have the just murder like, roll. Oh, well, I think I'm going to just turn right, and now everyone <laughs> in the bike turn, dies. Turn right at ninety there, degrees. That's exactly. it in the dark. Oh, just damn. kill somebody. Some <laughs> assholes tailgating you, just like oh. fuck you. Oh dear, I need to make a U turn. Everyone dies. <laughs> But yeah, this thing's super high. No, it's this yes. is cool. I like. Well, I'm already. Already cool. I'm already ecstatic about three of the things on this list, and we've only looked at two of them. Stop it, you spoiler! <laughs> anyway, how like what how was powerful yeah. is this thing? How what fast is, can what we is get it off? doing? It's not. It's a 96 volt battery, so that's pretty volts. high. That's that's high. Does it have horsepower or anything? Uh, um, any specs on it? Uh, it doesn't look like it. Let's see. Uh, well, just just hold it there. I just want to like, give us a quick glance. Very low seed height, uh, and enduring connection to pop culture. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was completed in 2012 and has only been ridden around their facilities to ensure that it remains in functioning condition. Oh, it seems and, like there's only the one copy then. It's a, yeah, it's only the one. Oh no, yeah, it's brand new. It's it's unique. There aren't any other ones. I will make there another one. Be. Re- you can register to bid if you want at the bottom of the page. Can, yeah. can we just, like, group bid on this all together? <laughs> um, yeah, no. no. It's only a little bit more than my car. I don't want to share. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the big thing. Yeah. Man, this is lot 259 in this auction. I wonder what other bullshit they have. I don't want to check. Please don't actually oh, check. Yeah. Here the, all night. I, I would love to look through this auction right now. But we will uh, be here all night. Anyway, okay, cool money, concept, man. great. Like that's really cool. Yeah, if yeah, you're a nerd I, and you like this stuff, I would. Okay, like, so, we sure are. So you can't. Obviously, you can't have the death wall, right? That's obvious. Yeah. But they should get like, like, uh, a, like what is it? It's like a slow exposure, like blue neon. So you have like a light trail behind you. That yeah. That I think I'd only show up in videos. But, yeah, you. I'm sure there's a way to do it. I don't know. I don't, you'd have to do it with like fog. Honestly, I think because like there, fog will hold light way. better. 
There's a way I think it would be cool. Just a bright LED coming out of your ass, yeah, blinding you just, everyone behind you. Yeah, you would just kill everybody behind you with your LED beam. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Also, okay. is, this, is this thing street legal? I don't yeah. see any mirrors on it. Uh, I assume you'd have to attach mirrors. You need yeah, because you need mirrors for it to be street legal. I'm well, at least sure in that. Canada. I don't. Th there's a plenty of states uh, where I'm it's... sure you could get away with it, honestly. Yeah, it's true. We live in Canada. It's fully functioning is the big thing. Yeah, no. I like how it's set up too. It's designed for. It's one of the lay down ones. Yeah, no. It's yeah, it, you lay down. I, so you so it, it doesn't look like it has any gears because it's an electric bike, right? So yeah. there's no. Where do you put your feet? Ah, uh, there's kickstands, right? You, you put the... them in the circles. <laughs> oh, no. on the back wheel. Okay. Yeah. There's like. Yeah. yeah. Well, you're supposed to be lying down. Is there, like, in is the there a foot brake though? Because like most motorcycles have a foot brake. Ah, uh, I have no idea, dude. It's yeah. an electric motorbike. There's honestly not a lot of details on it. No, yeah, there's but not. Like, but... You'll have handbrake and you'll have a foot brake, I assume. I wonder yeah. if it's, it's just, more for it's... aesthetics than actually riding. It, Probably. It's fully functioning and it is a motorbike. I don't it's know. Probably probably would, high you would want it to have brakes, uh, Aiden. You would definitely want brakes. No, no, I know, but it's probably like... It's not high performance. Yeah, like... It's, I would, it's like the people... I would want this to be know, high performance. Those looks like it's, some really yeah, right good here, they have brakes. It, to be honest with There's you. They have Perfect. It's like the Hand people right. who buy the Back to the Future DeLorean. The DeLorean actually sucks. Yeah, it's not the greatest but, cars. Oh, oh I got a Back to the Future DeLorean. It's super but, cool. But so no, actually, guys, look at look at the size of the disc brakes on the front wheel. This thing must have a substantial amount of power. <laughs> oh yeah, like it's I'm not it, like so. you would you would need <laughs> you would need those kind of brakes. On something like this, apparently. I, I guess so. It's probably got some push to it. Yeah, it's like 80% wheel. Either way, that's super cool. I hope it's high performance. Like, okay. I it would looks love like, to speed yeah. down the highway on this could, thing. Could you imagine if it wasn't and you just like went 30 kilometers an hour? 30 so, kilometers, so, so like, oh my god. 10 miles per hour or something like that. <laughs> just segue. It, it also, it, it has a radio in it, right? You have to like play the Tron theme constantly on this thing. Or just Daft Punk. Or Daft Punk. Daft yeah. Punk. I'd accept that. It's acceptable. <laughs> All right, what okay. else we got today? So this one is, uh, uh, this one's more of something that I thought Aiden would find in the school. Seals Rapid Transition Glasses. Yeah. That just sounds like the shades that change for light, like we usually have. Click into action. No, they're actually much cooler. Um, Sunglasses there's... that convert into goggles at the push of a button. What the fuck what? is this, Deus Ex? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't ask for this. They're sunglasses, and then if you click on them, they go into, like, full goggle mode where, like, they suction and... You can That's, use them to go swimming. I, I, I'm so not I sure push how a button, I feel about this. And they just hug my face. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so you push a button, and then they, the, the elastic band tightens, and you're good to go. <laughs> and I just get an instant headache. <laughs> instant headache right now, yeah. It's a face hug. So that's the thing. What if you had hair in front of your face? Then you just... Oh, it's just your hair. Why would you assume I want these? Because you... like sunglasses or goggles. Do you not like snowboarding or anything? I used it's, to. I don't think anybody would wear these. Sn okay. Okay. You wouldn't okay. wear these uh, snowboarding or skiing though. You, They're designed you, for that. It covers the majority of your face. These just I cover your eyes. I don't really so. board or anything. What? What? Uh, what? What do these guys cost? It's a Kickstarter. Oh my thing. god. Who can you get them for? <laughs> Sixty-four bucks. Um, very early bird price would be sixty four dollars. That's All expensive. Right. That's I don't need. They easy. are ninety bucks. I have They're my AVG glasses. No. Still. To be fair, no, no, no. to be fair, before we go any further, people pay way more money for name brand sunglasses. It's true. It's true. Yeah. Like and Oakley, for goggles too. Oakley, man. Yeah. Oakley I mean, or like I mean, Mali, Mali, Mali gyms or whatever. Maui gyms. I think that's what they're called. I think so. Yeah. yeah. They I look mean, like they have a decent amount going on with them. I paid a shitload for my sunglasses, but my sunglasses are prescription. That's the only reason yeah, I would yeah. pay money. Yeah. I paid more for gaming glasses. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> I know. And then you got rid of them. Yeah, I get a headache for having brother, them on my face. Them. <laughs> <laughs> so don't push the button. <laughs> don't push These the button. These aren't for me. I just kind of thought they were kind of cool. They're, they're, they're kind of goofy. I don't, I, I, feel I like... don't think I'd wear them. In, I feel like public. this is like a luxury that nobody asked for. <laughs> yeah, I like glasses. Are what, what are you gonna be like? Oh, I'm at the beach. Oh no, what am I gonna do? I, I I'm gonna have to put my sunglasses down and go in the water. Oh no, my eyes. <laughs> Such a. I don't know. I feel like. Oh my god, really? That's a, there's a newspaper ad about oh, these god. things, and they make a seal the, the deal pun. 
I, th- I think their game. name brand is even it's so bad because it's like seals. it's so bad seals with a z can we club them but oh my, my, my least favorite Jeez. part about this we're canadian that... it's okay oh my god it's oh my still god. not okay my least favorite part about this is that when you push the button those little clips like pop off and then you end up having to carry something anyway so like you'd still have to be carrying yeah. something like your sunglasses you still have to carry those Oh no, you don't have to carry these plastic clips that you're gonna have to fucking fiddle with to get back on. And, yeah, no, and if you lose these plastic clips, you're fuck fucked. you, now they're goggles you're, forever. You're now fucked. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. So I it, don't it shows, watch it shows a snowboarder okay. using them, but I, I, so, can, I would never see it happen. Honestly, I don't think they're gonna make it either. There's 11 days to go, and they're only about. They're not even halfway to oh, their goal. That's, yeah. Stretch goal too bad. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no they're at twelve thousand, twelve and a half thousand of thirty-two and a half thousand. Excuse me. They are waterproof, which is kind of yeah. No, they're goggles. They are goggles, like... so that would okay. <laughs> you would hope they'd be waterproof. I don't know. Let's see. They, uh, you know what they button? remind me of? You know how like yeah, those, those, you don't like, have to take, super... you don't have to carry anything. They were like those, the buttons, they were like those nice. those HD goggles for like elderly people, and everybody <laughs> thought that they looked super dumb. I feel like this is that thing. They're just Why super dumb. Corey, what thing were you talking about carrying something? You press yeah, them, you nothing comes off. Yeah, nothing comes off. No, no, go back down. I thought there was like... No, was that is showing how they were made. Oh. Yeah, yeah it's just like, a gif yeah, showing right. what yeah, was put the, together. In the little video, you just push the button and it just sucks yeah, into it, your face. It looked, it looked like there was little clips that like popped off. There's sunglasses and, you and then you go into battle mode. Battle, <laughs> battle sunglasses. It's to keep the blood out of your, actually, your you know enemy's blood over your eyes. I could actually see myself using these. I Yeah, I as could. a gag, maybe. I didn't think about it. They, they do like whitewater kayaking. I'm into that kind of shit. Yeah, but you could just you could just have goggles or sunglasses because honestly, no. But it, sunglasses, if you do, I find like when you're doing that shit, they tend to fall off your face. Yeah. And then you get a little rope they that goes on the goggles. back, and they, they, they that's what these wearing are. goggles outside in summer. It makes your face sweaty, dude. That's what these are for. <laughs> no, these are useful because they are sunglasses that turn into goggles. Yeah, I, but they're I still think... goggles, so they're still gonna make your face yeah, sweaty. Yeah, no, then when I'm not done... unless you press the button. They're normal sunglasses. Like, well, then they still fall off his face. They have a strap still. Well, it's still going to fall off your face because they're not going to stay on very well. That's fine. Not the whole river is rapids. I mean, like, in between. Like, I yeah, wouldn't want to wear, the... like, goggles the whole fucking day going down a river. Yeah, at the hard rapid part, you just yeah, press them. Yeah, this easy. fucking but game eight. face. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Eight. Like uh, I said, you could when you go to battle, the off your face. <laughs> <laughs> they're blown out of your eyes. Oh, my God. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> All right. I, I, will, I, will, I will take my regular stance on this. I know. This. It's good for Shark Week. Shark Week! <laughs> <laughs> is that a dirty joke? <laughs> no. It, now it is. Um, yeah, I will I will take on this my regular stance. It's not for me? That, um, it's not for me. Uh, humans have spent thousands of years perfecting inside. Why would I want to go outside? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Right, if, if, you're, if you like to go... Like, the, like... like like uh, Aiden said, if you like to go whitewater rapids, it's the only reason I could possibly see you using these. If at the like beach, people do... wear sunglasses at the beach, and then you just click a button, and then their goggles swim in the water. Or I could just wear sunglasses like at the beach, <laughs> and then pull thing. another pair of goggles out with you. I don't know. I've done I'm playing volleyball. Or, or you could just <laughs> not be a, or you could just not be a bitch and like, don't use goggles when you go in the water. If the if you're someone who uses goggles regularly, these could be kind of cool. Yeah, I, but I've never seen a person wear goggles at a lake where, like, you go swimming true. outside. You only yeah. ever see somebody wear goggles in an inside guys. pool. Yeah, it's because of the chlorine. That's the only reason you wear goggles. Exactly, and that's my point. Why would you need them outside? Well, sn- well, like snowboarders and skiers, I guess. But like with those, you want to get like you want to cover robot. most of your face with snowboarding yeah. and skiing, and they're not big enough for that. <laughs> they don't even fit the criteria that you'd, you'd need it's more cool, protection. It's a cool idea. Yeah. But it's for you if you need them. Yeah. If It's for you if you need them. And apparently 137 people needed them. <laughs> <laughs> did they? Did they? Some people could have just thrown in a dollar they and were like, like, oh, I need yeah. they got, That's okay, quite so a bit of money for a thing dollar to rest, there. They got maybe close to a third. Just a little over a third of their... their Funding and it's, it's not happening. It doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. 
Uh, and somebody took the eight hundred and fifty dollar one. W wow. Wow. Your name will be Poor displayed guy. on their website. You will get naming rights on a future model, Poor and you guy. will receive gets his one money back. of every new model we produce for the rest of your life. That's kind of actually really cool. How you... many glasses do you need? <laughs> Poor guy. There's four of these. Back. That's all I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's probably not. Well, probably no, it not. just doesn't. It doesn't take the money unless you. Unless yeah, unless it goes it. through. So he's just not. He's just not. He's, he threw the money and it just sort of fluttered onto the ground. Yeah. They don't take the money. They just until it's hovered good. in limbo, and it's just waiting to go back into his wallet. <laughs> you know, it's essentially what, the way Kickstarter works is a bunch of people walk up and just throw money, and the money just sort of slowly flutters to the ground. No. And if there's enough money in the air, then, then the guy will grab it. But away, if there's not, it just sort of hits the, the ground and you pick it back up. And I like to imagine yeah. if people throw like thirty six <laughs> IOUs at you, and they just sort of flutter around. They just throw IOUs at you, and they're only Pretty much, it's like, I owe you this much money, and, and if it happens, it happens. Yeah, yeah. I, the only thing I've kickstarted myself is Strength of the Sword. <laughs> I, I, okay, I think it's more like a bet. It's like, I bet you people will bet you this much money, and then people bet you enough money, and you win <laughs> a bet, and you get the money. You, yep, pretty much. <laughs> I bet your project right. will do well. This is how All much right. I bet. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's move on. Okay, so this one's kind of useful for me. Exit. What it is is it's got this little adapter that you plug into your headphone jack, right? Yeah. Exit. And then it's got so an, a, a, a second piece, a second piece that you plug into the an other end of a cable. Okay. okay. And these two are connected together through a magnet. Yes. So that if you ever like forget you're wearing headphones, you're gonna go to the washroom instead of ripping your headphones out of your computer. Or Tearing at your uh, neck, they just disconnect. Yeah, yeah. That's I've all. broken many headphones by having them like. Yeah. Usually, if you have an, over, like a like a big headset, and you'll usually yank the fuck out of your ears too. Yeah. Like they'll just fucking like rip your ear off. Yeah, I actually broke um a really expensive pair of headphones I had because oh, it was too. plugged me into too. my phone. Like three different pairs. Yeah, they were plugged into my phone, and one time I was walking past something, and the cable got caught on something, mm. and it caught on it and it tried to pull my phone out of my pocket but my phone was stuck and just ripped the actual headphone I, jack out I of spent, my pocket i spent hundreds of dollars on headphones because the headphone cord just fucking snapped advantage care plan for the wind I was, yeah this is great so I, this is I, a great I understand thing. the problem but i don't see why they need over three hundred thousand dollars for a little magnet magnets I, are expensive what well, are you talking about it, it is magnets it is How actually a coupler work? it's a magnetic coupler too okay okay here's my bottom Maybe line for the, uh, just for, how much yeah that's that's, that's yeah. good uh, how yeah how much it's money. more durable you don't take your thing out as much like yeah. Bottom line, right now, how much does this thing cost? Okay, well, I want to keep you looking through this how, page. How cause... easy is it to make a conductive magnet, though? Because you do need it to be condu uh, conductive as well. Yeah, you need a sound conductive magnet. So it could be harder. Uh, let's see. Up at the top here, let's see. Yeah, because they want 324000 or no. 294 $300,000, basically. Yeah. Should let's see. Uh, $5 uh, is a thanks. $20 is uh, one kit. 20 bucks. It's not bad. Bare necessities for their first 100. The basic kit before it lands. One magic cap and a magic magjack. Yeah, it's like both right. ends. Mag it's, it's the It's the both ends of the magnet, basically. Yeah. Yeah, yeah the mags. You know, I would pay um, 20 bucks for that. Like, that's that's something that would save me hundreds of dollars. I'd pay 20 bucks to save myself money. That's, yeah, that's the and then line. there that's, that's there's the... There's the personal one. It's one of the caps, so one of the ones for your headphones, and two jacks. So one into your phone, one into your computer, or whatever, right? I can't see myself needing the second one, unless I, I like, if you lost one, I guess, but... Well, no, it's, you, it's so you don't have to pull it out of Yeah, you can just piece. leave it plugged into your computer. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah. But I, I would just, I would up. just leave, I, I only ever use, like, one device at a time to listen to things. I, I have one set of ears and one set of headphones. So. <laughs> you you have a fair <laughs> argument there. For an extra ten dollars, you can get a shirt. A shirt. I mean, uh, this is a really cool it, idea. It is a cool concept. I really I like it. I feel like it's valid. It's it is. It is. It's just like 
Fucking pay attention. Also, that graphic. Go back up to that graphic. Dude, where the head's where like coming off. Where it's a dude wearing the yeah. headphones at his computer. <laughs> <laughs> head comes with, with magnet. Oh, I can just get up and walk away. And then the, the thing disconnects. And it says, without magnet, apparently you just get decapitated by your computer. It, so I, what? Sometimes it felt like your it. headphones yank on your, uh, on your ears, it feels like they're going to rip your ear off. Cause, like, I don't you know about you guys, but I don't get up from my computer. Oh. And then as soon as I'm standing, just full sprint. <laughs> no, no. But, like, I've been vacuuming with like large headphones on before and i've like i've like pushed the back vacuum forward and it'll like snag the cord and it'll rip the headphones off my face and like it really hurts sometimes yeah or um when the headphones if you've got a wheelie chair the headphone cable gets stuck in there it's a funny "Ah!" picture it's not accurate like, yeah, what do you I want, mean, Spencer? It's it not I, know, the day I, know. Okay? I, just, I just wanted to point that out because I thought it was funny. It's like, you guys want to just exaggerate this? Oh, yeah, it hurts. No, you, you just get decapitated. Yeah, Dude, decapitated. your body is just gone. You don't I, even know. This happens I would pay 20 bucks daily. for this product. Okay I, okay, I understand, but like... I rarely ever have this problem because I, I keep track of where my cord is. I've had to now. Because I've done this before and it hurt. Exactly. I did it once. It's yeah. it's like that picture of the scientist and the regular person. Yeah. And there's a button. And the regular person pushes the button and they get zapped. And he goes, oh, well, I'm never going to push that button again. And the scientist pushes the button and he goes, I wonder if that happens every time. Yeah. Normal person will go, ow, okay, that sucked. All okay. right, whatever. And but- then it'll happen again. And they'll go, oh, I need to take steps to make sure this doesn't keep happening. And, but like, Spencer, that's what I do. Like, it's... It's it's an easy thing to do. Like I I'm a pretty self aware person for the most part, and like it's easy to do. I've I've done it plenty of times, like with a vacuum, and it, I I don't know why I just fucking keep doing it. And it's just like oh god. And yeah, I mean, Corey, Corey, you know what else is a problem? Roomba. <laughs> yeah, if I want to pay six hundred dollars, I could just pay twenty dollars for this. <laughs> I know. I just like bringing up Roombas. Roombas, I think robots, so good. <laughs> Dude, you know what the best thing to do with a Roomba is? Put googly eyes on it. Put, no, put a knife on it, get another Roomba, and have Roomba fights. Oh, that, yeah, knife I've seen that. Roombas. What's wrong with Roombas? It woke up... Do- okay. Okay, I actually, I hate Roombas, too. I stepped on the Roomba, and it started making noise, and I woke everyone up because of the <laughs> fucking Roomba. Learn to Roomba I hate Roombas, scrub. too. Uh, I was sleeping on somebody's couch, and their Roomba... Decided, like, I fell off the couch, I, like, because I roll around in my sleep, and I fell off the couch, and the Roomba tried to suck up my face, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Your face is unclean! What is that? What, that, what was that? And, like, there's no such thing as a square Roomba, so you can never get caught. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, no, that's Constant my favorite problem. part! That's my favorite part! So, what is the dirtiest part of pretty much any room? The, the corner. corner. What is the corner? An angle. What is the Roomba? A circle. A circle. Is which anyone is else? 360 degrees, see the which problem. is an angle. <laughs> we need. Okay, you know what the perfect solution to this is? Not a square Roomba, but a triangular Roomba. Yeah. I think that would work yeah. better. Yeah. That would work better. You, you wouldn't have to align itself. Exactly, much. big dumb triangle Roomba. Yeah, big dumb triangle Roombas. So good. What was the best wasn't, that, wasn't there an article recently of some lady that like had to call nine one one because the Roomba like sucked up her hair and she couldn't get out? No, but that's stuck. hilarious. I thought you were gonna say it sucked up her dog. My, my <laughs> it's got like some really problem. small dog with really shaggy hair, and it like picks up one of the hairs as it's being shed, and then just starts sucking up the rest of the talk. All right, guys, back to the topic. <laughs> My yeah. biggest problem with this is it's a magnet, and uh, so I have two problems with it. One, if the magnet's too weak, it's just going to fall out all the time. Yeah. yeah. Two, uh, this doesn't look bad. if it's too strong, magnets, it's gonna fucking don't, shit. Mag- magnets don't work very well with technology. <laughs> Let me just put that down. <laughs> uh, magnets and technology issues have gone away for quite some time now. Uh, it was really box still, TVs. And- they're still there. They're just yeah. more background. At yeah. the moment, yeah. If you took well, a high-powered magnet to your phone, it probably wouldn't do too well. That's all I'm saying. Uh, your phone is fine. It's not. Um, it's using flash storage, which isn't affected by magnets. Oh That's, yeah, because uh, it's not a. It's not a. It's not a. A disc. Hard, is it? Yeah, actually, a hard disk. Yeah, your phone is fine. The only thing that might be an issue is your hard disk on your computer, and they actually have coatings on them designed to prevent standard magnets. Do you like tablets? Have hard disk now? Or, yeah. Or um, no, they're on, they're on Flash as well. I still can't figure out why they need $300,000. Yeah. Well, uh, I Because it looks like they're pretty much done. Most like, of it's probably done. I think well, most they, of this is product have a concept idea. They probably, 
it's probably just for production and paying employees and all that too, right? It's like, damn, they want to make a lot of these things. Yeah, uh, yeah I, mean, I imagine it's, they want to put it in everybody's phone, right? It's, yeah. And and I don't blame them. Like, it's... Yeah, no, you you bring a product to market, you want the market to be everybody. Yeah. Exactly. And it, uh, to, to be honest, I could see it being everybody. I would yeah. pay $20 for this. Yeah. I mean, Again, unless, uh, the, the only people it's not going to affect are the people who buy twenty dollars pay, uh, pairs of headphones because, like, they're not going to care. Or, or just cautious people. Like, I see it. It's cool. It totally fills a need. I don't have that need. I this just is, fucking. This I is pay attention. Hard not to be mean. Me. I pay attention. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's just bummer. well. I mean, you probably don't vacuum with big dumb headphones on either, and I. I do. do. That. I vacuum with two hundred dollar headphones on. And I don't have a problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> I pay attention. I don't, I don't have a vacuum. Maybe it's maybe it's maybe <laughs> it's my vacuum. Maybe, I have a girlfriend. Maybe, <laughs> maybe my vacuum's just really good at hooking the cord on. It, it, uh, it does have a it does have a spot where the cord could easily hook onto. So I think that might I just be sweep. It. I don't uh, know what. Yeah. Anyway, what's <laughs> next? Okay, so the next one we got is uh, Pro. It's it's it, just... it's a expandable. It's a table. Is this a tablet table? Yes. What? I've seen these before, but this one looked really cool. I actually cool. saw these uh, at like in did like Disneyland when they were like or in that like tech center or whatever. Yeah, it was pretty cool. Like, so is it like a Windows tablet? Yeah, it's or? a it's a Windows tablet of sorts. How, how big is it? Uh, it's like it's like a full size table, like a four person table. Okay, okay, hang on. There's Pro and there's Pro Lab. Dual two terabyte hard drives or three eight terabyte hard drives. Well, Holy. and then you'd need a it because it's such a big screen, right? Gig solid state drives. What? <laughs> Holy shit! You'd probably need it for the like the size of the screen and everything. Dude, this like, thing's the, got thirty two gigs of power. DDR RAM. That you would need. Sorry, DDR3. I missed this. I wasn't paying yeah, attention. What are we looking at? We're it's looking a table at a that's also tablet. a tablet. A tablet. It's a tablet. It's Every a tablet. oh my god, it's a tablet. Okay, yeah. so uh, my my favorite use of this item because it was actually games. one of the concept ideas for an item like this is in restaurants you could implement a uh, menu and you wouldn't even have to have a server come to your table. You could literally just yeah. pick what you want off the menu by tapping the screen and so it would be your table at the same time. Are you telling me I don't have to deal with some bitchy waitress who yes. doesn't want to do what she and has then, to do? And then you don't have to tip either because they're not there. <laughs> also, you no. know what they shouldn't... Like, Damn. How many USBs do they have? Because, ah. like, with the same idea as car singing, people just plug in their US, like their phones and shit to this yeah, table. Yeah, exactly. You could, charge, you could charge your phone from your your table while you're it's eating at it out, out at Oh my restaurant. god, it's using an i7 processor. That's great. That's pretty good. These are really What kind of glass strong. does it have, though? Because I could see some asshole being like, oh, my keys, slam. Or just somebody sits on your table and breaks your computer. <laughs> I imagine. <laughs> what about drinks being spilled? Like, I well, think no, the glass is interchangeable. It's probably like a fully like, waterproof uh, top. Yeah, so. I'd hope so. Full intensity workstation. Uh, fully there, expandable computer too. Um, fully expandable, you like. But I, I it's customizable. It is, it's practically it's okay. a Windows 8 computer. That's all it is. Yeah. It's a big Windows 8 computer yeah, with a Windows screen 8. and the casing and everything. Uh, okay, well, to be fair, fine. Windows 8 will be out pretty soon, and they're gonna get a free copy of Windows 10. 10. As 10. long as you get it in the first year. Yeah. When I first saw that, I thought they were talking about like you get it for a year and then you have to buy it, but no, you just have to upgrade in the first year. Yep. So it's pretty cool. I should probably buy one. Here you go, Vandal Proof. Vandal Proof. Aluminum and steel construction and locking panel secure system for demand. It locks to the floor. Perfect. <laughs> so people can't steal your table. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> I love that the most expensive thing in your home is a table. Well, I to be <laughs> to be fair, this is, it, I can see this being This table's cool. better than my computer. Oh, no, no. This is a really strong computer. Like, holy shit. Oh, yeah, I yeah. put just the concept of, so what, like, you're doing insurance. Man, so what's you the, can... uh, what are some high-value items in your home, sir? Oh, well, there's my computer. Hey, Corey. Uh, my fridge you and could my washing play. machine. You uh, could play, like, TV, full. My table. Yeah. <laughs> you really want to make an IHOP in Vancouver and just put these tables in? Oh my god, shut up with making an IHOP. <laughs> Waffles and tablets. Okay. Dude, you're just gonna put syrup all over the my tablet. Favorite part, my favorite part about this table is not, <laughs> not that it... That's great. <laughs> my, my favorite part about this table is not that it's 
like they, it would be good for like serving and all that. My favorite part is that you could totally play like full size video games on this that goddamn it's table. True. You could yeah, just play like pretty cool to do that. Witcher they 3. They could be super dope on this. <laughs> it would be super cool to play games on. Any RTS? Oh, yeah. Yeah, any real-time strategy. You can play LOL just while you're waiting for your food. Yeah. Just yeah. play LOL and MASH, like, yeah. Q. If, if, if this was a public thing, I could see, like, you should lock your Wi-Fi to block certain websites, because somebody's just going to oh, blast yeah. porn from the table. Porn on the table. A whole new meaning to leaving porn on the table. Remember, kids, so don't good. leave your porn on the table. <laughs> See, See, what I like is the, the idea thing of... thing that would make it better is if there were, like, sensors in the seats, so, like, when you stood up, like, it would shut off the table, it would be like, no porn on the table. <laughs> <laughs> See, my favorite thing for this is, uh, you, what you do is you take, like, a grid, just, like, a standard, like, grid for D&D, right? And you just, like, throw it on the image, and just use it as your D&D board. And you can, like, put modified JPEGs, upload actual images to it. Yeah, no, it would be useful for... It, it's a fucking sick ass giant table computer. You can it's, use it for everything. It's really cool. It has how a lot much of money do um, I need to throw at this bullshit though? It doesn't say because it's probably expensive as dicks. It's probably custom built, and I would say it's gonna be more than three grand. I don't no, think they're like custom built. Three grand just for the computer. Like it's, it looks like a master like computer equipment, at least. It looks like they're trying I'd to mass produce it. Say you're looking at seven thousand, ten thousand. No, uh, yeah, probably. I'd say. I'd say. Like you get a you get a nice table, you can still pay, you can pay up to like five, six, seven grand, right? Yeah, uh, I'm yeah. saying now somewhere this has a six, computer seven grand it, to start. I, I'm thinking over ten grand for this badass. Yeah, I was, I'm thinking you could probably get it like a cheaper end one, as it were, for six to seven. Well, Maybe if I just got the touchscreen part, I can make my own fucking table. <laughs> He's not wrong. You're, yeah. No. Well, what about like the cables and shit? That's yeah, my question. Where's everything plugging in? It, it's the, all the in chass, there. The, the yeah, chassis the is technically in the uh, in the, the case. In the base. It's just right here. It's uh, in the base. Yeah. Well, you're still gonna plug all that shit into like power, looks, don't you? It, you? You know what? You could just get a really like high end chassis, like or like a case, and just put the tablet on top. It's true. This is still really cool, though, just because of how big this... It's a touch screen, right? It's, and it's, it's a good, fucking yeah. huge one. It's a huge 4K screen. I, I'm kind of curious about what kind of glass they're using on this. I hope, like, Gorilla or something. Something tough. Yeah. I, I also imagine that it's probably an overlay of glass, because looking at this, it doesn't... Uh, if you look right here, there's screws there. I imagine you could take it off and change the glass. Yeah, but still, you wouldn't, so. like, if you have this in a restaurant setting like we were talking about earlier, you would not want somebody to just, like, be banging their forks all over this fucker unless you had a good set of glass on it. <laughs> I don't think yeah. it's for restaurant use. I mean, I've, I've, I, seen, I've seen it as that being cool. a, a possible uh, use for it. but I think it would be really cool, and I think the potential is there, but, like... I'd put age restrictions on my, on my restaurant. On like, your restaurant? No one under that. the age of 10 they can do that. fucking stab my table with a fork. Yeah. Your tablet? I, I, th tablet. I think there would have to be um, in uh, insurances in place or like ed y you know you'd you'd want a good good set of glass. I <laughs> want like can I buy fork insurance. Yeah, can I have like one inch glass on this bad boy? <laughs> one inch glass that still lets you use it as a touch screen. Oh hey, god, that like, so, that'd be really difficult. Right, I'd like to order a Big Mac. Okay, that's uh, nineteen ninety nine plus five hundred dollar deposit. I would never <laughs> want to see this in a McDonald's. <laughs> also, where are you buying a twenty dollar Big Mac? Yeah. Well, we oh, have. Hey, well, maybe, we if have getting, maybe if he's getting the maybe if he's getting the double Big Mac and he's adding extra Mac sauce and it's a combo with large fries and large drink, maybe then. I still don't think that's twenty dollars. Uh, it's, it's probably after tax. It's probably getting like seventeen or eighteen. What about the McGangbang? How much is that? Oh my god, oh, that was the McGangbang I think 40 is actually really cheap. You can get a McGangbang for like five bucks because all it is <laughs> is a McDouble, and that's like two bucks and a yeah. junior chicken, which is like one fifty. The combo makes it. No, the way they fucking do it, they do it wrong. If they they can charge you expensively, if they charge you for no, no, both. No, no. What you do is you just ask for both the, the burgers. Then you have to make it yourself. It and then you're like saying then then they're not educated. Like, they Put don't that shit like together, It Well, she actually, was... I've been having to do that because the people here, they'll actually, like, kick you out of their store if you ask for it like that. Seriously? Yeah, Fuck they will them. kick you out. Wait, in Stony it... Plain, we would go in, we'd be like, I want a McGangbang, or I'd want a Buddha Burger. They'd be like, coming right up, here you go. They, if you ask for something off the secret menu, they kick you out? No, no, well, it's... <laughs> 
It's it's kind of yeah, I guess so. I don't know. In 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 our particular one, I won't say where, but <laughs> they definitely would kick your ass out. Why? Because well, it's called that. a gangbang. <laughs> I I don't know. I I guess so. Because we should come out. I want to gangbang you on this counter. <laughs> okay. The question is: Is there right another now. Is there another name for it? I uh, don't, don't know. You can say Junior Chicken Side Double can we, Cheeseburger. Can we come up with something called the McOrgy? Oh God. Oh God. Just there's a vagina sandwich. That's just the foot fish fillet. Like. Right. Let's okay. Let's let's, <laughs> let's try and get back on topic. Okay. All right. The table. Kind of the table. Anyway. Really Next cool. Thing. Really expensive. Next thing. Lots of potential. One of Next thing. Oh cool. yeah. Okay. No, so no, this no, is no, what no, I was wait. looking at earlier. What? What do you want? Aiden? This is the oh, coolest can thing. Can we not just have Windows format? Like I would. I would like Window or Android format as well. You know what? That'd be cool. That'd also be cool. For a big yeah. computer like that, I think you have to go Windows, just because Android isn't designed to take up that much, to use that much RAM. Maybe. Well, you should think, do something. I think that Android. there's actually something called an iTable as well. It's like an iPod version of the same. Sorry, thing. I don't want to pay fifty thousand dollars for shit. Yeah. Anyway, I anyway, have seen someone with a twenty-two let us inch talk tablet about on the uh, Android. Stuff. All right, hang I've on. Seen... Yeah, no, we're we're gonna move on because what the fuck am I looking at? Yeah, exactly. The right. Stuff. <laughs> this yeah. is the first thing that I saw, and this is um, what I was like, oh my god. Yeah, Corey, Corey got spoiled this before we started. Uh, the I to scroll down. It there. This it's is crazy. double this Kickstarter goal. Oh yeah, no doubt. Scroll down a second. A flat gamepad can't compete. This controller is designed to provide performance and speed. You can even use it with your gaming mouse. Wow. This is like... It looks like, like a flight stick, and you just sort of... Put two flight sticks together, and now you have a, what looks like a PlayStation controller. Okay, so sort like, of? Well, it, it looks like it comes apart, so you can use like, it does. One oh half my god, look at all those and pieces! A mouse? Is that a thing? yeah? You can use a mouse in one of them. Three or that... different handle sizes for different Included. pad sizes. So cool. yeah, see, oh my god. it's got the trigger there. And it's it's... Got flappy paddles. Actually, it looks like a trigger. That's interesting. The grift. Right yeah, on. you can use grift in one hand, mouse in the other. That way, you can use this for your. Pro- I, I guess it's game. better for like uh, PC gamers who want to use a console because like they're used yes. to the. Ditch, that, the, ditch the, mouse. the keyboard, keep yeah. the mouse. Yeah. That sounds fucking solid to me. I well, yeah, I, I've seen like other products like it, but this looks much more solid as a. Grift or split, and this is just a fucking <laughs> Wiimote. Yeah, no, it's, it's two of them though. Yeah, no, it's just the Wiimote and the nunchuck with nothing connecting them, and then there's the the like the full grift. Oh top. no 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 no! This is the same thing. If you yeah, just look no, at no, the plastic no, the has a connector piece that makes oh, it into one a, controller. The grift a classic. It just puts them together. Yeah, yeah. and blam. This looks that like a really here. cool device, and you can swap which side the buttons are on. That's like yeah, you I, have I your triangle, that. square, on X, and yeah. circle on your left side, or your A, B, X, Y. Because I want guess. the buttons. Uh, for one, I would not use the uh, directional. I wouldn't need that if I was ditching my keyboard. I would need the buttons. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, it, you'd want you'd want your buttons on your left side, yeah. right? Well, no, no, no. If, like if you're ditching your keyboard, it'd probably buttons. be like for WASD, and then there'd be a couple extra buttons. Yeah. You scroll up. I was thinking for League. Does I, it... I think it's Sony. It's just the triangle, circle, square, X. Yeah, I'm wondering. Like, no, no. Sony. Sony doesn't own shapes. You can't no, no, copyright it... a shape. Yes, you can copyright and shapes. No, you can't. Like, There's third-party uh, controllers they have the that version use with that the, uh, the Xbox buttons as well. So it's not like it's not like owned by. No, no, no. Hang on. Go back up. Go back up. Go back up. Cronus Max. Okay, this thing runs on the Cronus Max. Do you guys know what the Cronus Max is? Not a clue. The Cronus Max is a USB dongle. Basically, put it into any console, hook it up to any USB input device. It will download drivers, and you can use any device with any console at any time. That is cool. The Apple Apple version is available, so you can use it on your iPhone as well. You can use this thing. Basically, Cronus Max... Any USB input device with any console. Cronus Max is an amazing system. It works so and good. It works with the Grifta. That's really cool. Yes. That's okay. How much money? This, this okay. Is, take my money now, please. Okay. Thirty pounds. So it'll okay. be a little. Thirty pounds. That's the super early bird for only one side. So you're that's looking only left or right. Yeah. Go, go down. Uh, super early for the whole thing. You right there, fifty pounds. That's uh, no, no. I want MSRP. Probably this one right here. Grifta Classic. 
69 pounds. So you're looking in the left, the right, and the center. I'm thinking you're looking the at the ghost. Man, bucks. that thing looks dope. Yeah. <laughs> it's, the Grift the ghost. It's just in white. Yeah. Um, yeah, it. you're looking at about a hundred, hundred and five It's a Kickstarter bucks. special, though. I, I like I like special editions. And I the color. You get colored ones, too? That's, honestly pay that You money. could have, like, There's... one green side and, like, one red side and just be like, oh, that's so cool. Or pink. It comes in pink and purple. It comes in pink and purple. <laughs> I uh, I would have to feel this thing. Because this looks wait, wait, really Wait, wait, wait. Go cool. back up. Go back up. Just one one little bit here. Okay, so... Four Grifted Classics. If you wanted, you could get... Yeah, if you wanted, you yeah, could get them all for about... For, what would that be? Uh, $300? About 300 Yeah, roughly about $300. Bones for four of them, which is pretty one. damn good. You guys want to go quarters? <laughs> <laughs> um, here's, here's the thing. I want to feel it. Because uh, yeah, exactly. I thought the Xbox One controller, before that thing came out, I thought, okay, that looks way better. It's a really good improvement. And then I touched it. And I'm like, wow, I still hate the Xbox controller. Yeah. So One like, thing that they did make a note of controller. I is, want to feel it. If you look at the actual I, handle here, I have, the silicone I have is both, interchangeable. I have both a PS4 Xbox. controller and an Xbox One controller. And like I, I like them both, but I definitely prefer the PS4 controller. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'll stick to my Xbox One just because it fits my hands nicer. I, my yeah, hands always cramp up when I use the triggers. Skinny bony fingers. Yeah, You're doing it wrong. Bony fingers. There's not a wrong way to use the, the PS4 controller. Yes, there is. No, You're, there's the, not. You're using it wrong. How do you use it wrong? No, the reason it cramps up is because I'm playing FPS and I have to flick the trigger. And it flicks inward really hard. Do you use both fingers? It flicks inward really hard. Maybe you're just yeah, flicking fingers. it. It flicks. Really hard. It goes inward a lot. And yeah, I can see, I can see this up. cramp in your hands if you okay, use both fingers. Let's, no. Okay. Either way, I'm I'm talking not about the design. I'm talking about not the handles, the but the feel of the buttons. Because okay. I can yeah, hold yeah. an Xbox controller, it feels great. I can hold a PS4 controller, it feels great. When I push the a button, yeah. does it feel like shit? Yeah. Does it feel responsive? Does it feel like if I push this six times, it's just gonna press through the controller? Yep, that's, that's, that's I, that I is important because like, I've want... I've had plenty of knockoff controllers in my day, and I hate most of them because the yep. controller. Oh, Mad Cats! Suck. Hey, Mad Cats made some good shit. I had some Mad Cat GameCube ones; those are kick ass. I've they also made had a lot some really bullshit, bad, but I, I've also had some stuff. really bad Mad Cat stuff too, though. I mean, it's hit and miss with them. I'd like to see uh, this do well. I'd like to see good quality product. But I we'll would see. like to throw my money at this. I would like to throw oh, my money at this. What's this thing called the antler? Go back up. I, I don't know. Go, go down. Uh, I'll I'm scroll curious down. about that. Uh, what is that? What is that thing? Infrared tracking. Oh. It's... it's uh, like, scroll up a little bit. Well, so up. I'm trying to read the, de- the description. Yeah. Uh, basic missions of the system was unchain power of the game badge format and create a hardware platform for the development of point and shoot gesture gaming. Oh. Transform the Grifta into a gesture gaming device. Just clip on the infrared antlers. This attachment tracks translational and rotational. It turns so, it into this the is PS more, move. It's, it's more of like a Wii type uh, thing. Yeah, it okay. turns it into like a Wii mode or a PS move type deal. I wonder and if it would work for those. I, like, well, I mean, those. Because it, it is working with... Um, you got that? the Chronos Max. You got the Chronos Max. It is possible that it would definitely work with... Then it's uh, got that ability to dock it to... That uh, antler is... It's quite expensive, it. though. Mobile kits? No, 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 no. That's the stretch goal. Yeah, these are stretch goals to get these stuff. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, mobile kits. They're trying to get a tablet bridge. They're trying to get magnetic bridges. So you can just... Whatever a Grifta board is. I... Uh, do that it. Is. Uh, it looks like a platform. It looks like a desk. Um, There's the magnetic. Yeah, the mag. They're trying to make them magnetic, so you wouldn't need the little plastic clip yeah. thing. Uh, I app. I kind of I I prefer the plastic. Honestly, I don't think I'd need the magnet. Yeah, me too. The it, tablet. It, it, it has. Wait, go back up. I just saw something that was kind of interesting as well. Yeah. It's it's just yeah no. You just put your phone on top of it and you use it to like hold it and take pictures. That's that seems you know silly. like it, it it's good for outside of gaming as well, which is kind of a yeah. nice secondary purpose. Yeah, it's no. like as a cameraman, or like if you just wanted to take camera or photos outside, you have a nice camera on your phone. You wanted to use it outside. That's a good, it's a good use for it, right? Yeah, no, Th- this thing looks it's super solid. It looks like it's more than just a gaming controller, which I can appreciate. I what is, uh, is that I the board? Yeah, no. hang on, hang on. What? Go back up. 
Grift of Board is able to extend to waist height and will allow you to play in a standing position. Kill zombies, not your lower back. Place the Grift of Board in front of your screen and experience immersive gameplay while maintaining a healthy posture. It's it's good ergonomics. Okay, that's that's interesting. I I like this support. Rigidized steel enabling you to slide under any piece of furniture. What? I don't understand. It collapses in. Yeah, it's, it's so is really it a stand for your. It's a stand for your mouse or the you your can tablets. Like, and your I, I assume it's like easy storage too. Oh, okay. It's a stand for like a mouse or a yeah. keyboard, so you can still use that stuff while standing up. Exactly. Okay, I'm like, what is this for? Like the fucking screen. Like, no. you have to mount, like, jack up your TV? I don't get it. But you no, can it's put for, your mobile device it's on it. It's for it's your for, controller. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, no. I, love I would... It. You know I what? I, it I like well. it. I really like it. I, I would throw money at this. Okay, yeah. so, like, I... Oh, this list is going to be hard to make, boys. Because, <laughs> like... Uh, there's this some good, a good shit week. this time, other than four USBs. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> um, fuck. But damn, the, the Grifta... That thing's super. That thing's super <laughs> I good. Think, I think I already have. Wait, is there one? Wait, more can we go back? No. I, I just no. want to take a look no. at the no. the pad itself, not not the uh, analog sticks, but just the the pad. I just want to get a good look at it. I'll show it here. Yeah, just it's like if I'm playing it as a fighter game, I want a good fighting uh, game pad, right? Uh, if you, honestly, if you want a fat on a, you want a fight game, you want a fight stick. Like yeah. you want a stick. Yeah, it's want. true. But I mean, like, if I couldn't have that, right? Yeah, no. Like, if I was going to use like, this on my... Like, I hate... Like, I love to play, like, 2D like, fighters on my <laughs> phone, but I hate the movement uh, with the 2D fighters on the phone. It's terrible. Putting your hands together is exhausting. Yeah, I know. I mean, but, like, yeah, if, if you want, like, a... like a, If you want something for fighting games, you want to fight stick, where yeah. everything is but just I mean, laid I, out I, openly, I, and their buttons are bigger. If I was going to do it on, like, my phone or my iPad, though, I, like, because <laughs> that's, that's one of the purposes of this controller... I was just uh, want yeah. something successful. It's that. mechanical. That's good. If you find a good fight game, oh, there you go. Now they got YXBA on the controller, so I yeah, guess you can get it, it with. It showed either, it earlier. Yeah, you can either get it with buttons or you can get it with the the symbols yeah. whatever you want. Yeah. You could. You can even use analog sticks and move, movement pads on both sides. I was seeing it earlier in this video. Yeah, they got some fucking shit. And I like this. I like this. this is real uh, gameplay right there. Showing off. Was he playing? Halo. Oh, he's... Uh, it looks like Halo. Halo? It's probably Call of Duty. It's probably... No, it's Battlefield. What is it? That was the it new Battlefield. Like... Oh, so and it's fully, it? uh, fully that programmable. That was Toy 2Q on the PC. <laughs> fully programmable, too. These. And look at all the cool colors that comes on. Yeah, it's got some colors. Oh, I'm getting pink, because, you know, pink. As long so as good. when you get it, it doesn't feel cheap. Yeah, no. Yeah. That, again, I would want... To I actually feel it. feel it in my hands before yeah. I dropped sixty British pounds on this thing. It doesn't. Don't look, put your controller. It doesn't look cheap, to be honest. Like it doesn't it look doesn't, like cheap plastic. It doesn't look. It doesn't look cheap. Like but cheap I've plastic. I've looked at a lot of controllers but that didn't can, look cheap, and they actually just felt cheap. You can definitely polish a turd in this case. Yes. So, I would want to get hands on with it. Yeah, it's something I'd like to feel. I I am very much interested. Yes. Very much interested. Okay. Mm. All right. End of the day, though, boys. <sighs> this is the hard I part. List. This if, is okay. like it wasn't so hard last week. <laughs> well, not last week. If you but... if you could only have let's start with this. If you could only have one, what would you take, Aiden? What would you oh. take? If we can have only one. Yeah. Okay. This depends solely on how much power this oh, fucking motorbike has. Oh. You want the bike? The bike is so cool. It's 96 volts, apparently. I don't know how much horsepower that puts out. So I don't know. I know that, like, 96 volts is a lot. 96 what's your, what's, volts? Yeah, let, me, like, let, me, let me find it for you, because I'm sure there's probably more info on it. Okay, but you'd go with the bike if you could only have one? Yeah. Is, um, would that be the number one on your list, then? Definitely, yeah. Okay, what, what else? While Corey's looking up the thing. Um, next would probably be this thing. The Grifta? The Grifta, yes. It's such a weird name, too. The Grifta. It sounds um, cool. They showed it earlier, actually. It was like, a, well, like is it, it's an acronym or something? Yeah, it's an acronym for, like, their ideas right here. Look. Grip, handle, split. Oh, no. It, I thought it was an acronym. No, no, like, H no. <laughs> no. Handle. I thought it, they had it set up as an acronym. But, yeah, but uh, yeah, I would take this thing next. It looks 
pretty dope. Oh no, it sounds it sounds as awesome. long as as long as it's good quality product. Yeah, definitely. They're mechanical, yes. which is a good. I, uh, I think we should. Yeah. I think we should base that. Uh, okay, it, as a, as a list, I think in general we should base this as if it were going to be a good product. Yeah. 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 Like, because it has the potential to be that. It it looks like they're trying to sell it as that because of the price range. I think we should give it. It's just desserts, and yeah, say, yeah, benefit of the doubt. Give them the yeah. benefit of the doubt. It will be a, like it'll actually feel good. Mm-hmm. And with that being said, continue. Okay. Um. After this, what else do we have? It the, 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 the glasses, drag. the magnet thing, the shoe lights, and the table. Oh, I want the table knife. The tablet. I want the tablet. The tablet. I want to play on my computer while eating waffles. <laughs> and chicken. Stop, stop getting <laughs> waffles all over my game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, then after that, I would probably... um, I would take the glasses. glasses. Just because if I'm going to be out glasses. doing that kind of shit. But only if I'm out like water rafting, right? You don't want the Megzet? No, I don't really need that to be honest. Oh. Like, I would. What probably, about those night runners? I would take the night runners next. And really, like, and the mags at last? Yeah, like I don't need the mag magzets at all. Oh wow. Okay. What are you, Spencer man? Um. Uh. It, again, I, I'm with Aiden. This is kind of hard. Um. It's I'm not st- hard. It's I'm easy. Stuck, I'm stuck between the tablet and Vroom. the grifta. The, shut up. <laughs> I'm stuck between the tablet and the grifta. Also, I don't think I'll ever be able to not call it a tablet, because that just works tablet. really, really well. It really does. Um, <laughs> fuck. I, as cool as the tablet is, I think I would rather have the Grifta. Especially I think it's I not going to rip your arm. I would get more use out of the Grifta so than destroy I would your wallet. <laughs> out of the fucking tablet. Okay. Close second. So, Close second would be the tablet. From what you, I can tell... You got numbers? I don't have numbers, but okay. it's like they talked about the specs and like uh, being able to ride it at low speeds. So I assume because it has low speeds, it probably goes a fairly fast distance. I'm gonna look up and see if I can find a video on it to see Did, it are actually. Are you looking up that bike in, in particular? Yes. yes. That look, one just is. look up what what kind of horsepower you can get at a ninety six volt battery electric bike in a bike. How big is your battery on your thing? Trans- Mine's like six. Yeah, well, you're it depends. Six there's there's so much more math to you, like, you, like. I'd have to know the weight of the bike. Yeah. I'd have to know. No, 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 no. I know, I know. But like, we can approximate, right? So just figure out what 96 volts translates to into horsepower, and then you can just sort of get an idea. I'm looking right? it up right now. Uh, I'm, I'm doing it. I actually have it. Uh, what's the numbers? Okay, um. Well. <laughs> uh, either way, I I'd, I'd go Grifta and then the tablet. And then, out of the other stuff... Horsepower to watts. I would definitely get the bike third. Because, like, you know what? I have a scooter. I don't see you like, I, I don't see you riding there. a motorcycle anyway, Spencer, so... It's an electric motorcycle. Wh- why not, man? I actually like riding around on my scooter. I, I guess, I but I mean... it's not going 300, but... It, uh, no, but a scooter's a lot easier to ride than a motorcycle. Yeah, well, be you know watched, what, I'm getting be used to it, so power, right? I think I would enjoy riding around on a motorcycle. Fuck you, sir. Okay, Spencer, and then, uh... Uh, from there, fuck, I barely want any of this. I, I've i done it once or twice, so I'll go with the Magzit. Um, Night Runner? You know, I, I would get the mm. Night Runner, and I would give them to my father. Because my dad constantly cusses out people who he almost runs over. And he runs all the time. So I'd get those so I can give them to my dad. And then I would get the seals and put them on a baby seal and then laugh. And then that's probably the only thing I would do. Because puns are fun. Because puns are great. Okay, what about you, Corey? All right, okay. Let's take a look here. Grift, uh, grift, uh, grift, Okay, uh. so, um... Grift, uh, grift, uh, grift, uh. So we have... Okay. Yeah, sure. Uh, I'm stuck between the Tron bike and the Grifta because I would love to be the proud owner of the Tron bike. From what I can find on it, I've been looking at videos. It looks like it has a fairly high speed. I can't like they don't show the actual like they they don't say the actual specs of it, but the bike does look like it goes fast. Why you no look up ninety six volts? Because <laughs> it, volts is the, not, like, you can't translate it, it like perfectly into 
like without other it doesn't just translate into horsepower. Yeah, because volts is not a way to transfer into horsepower. You have to look at how many how many you watts. Have to, you have to go to watts, and then from there you have, like, it's just annoying. Anyway, yeah, I'm I, looking up the conversion. I'm doing math. Oh okay. God, while he know. while he converts math, as long as this bike is fast, I would probably consider it first. If it's still slow, probably not. Maybe second. Um, I, I'd want to be able to take it on the highway. You know. It's like, cause otherwise, why the fuck would I want it? I want it to. I, I want to have a bike. Like, why would you get a bike unless you wanted to take it fast? Especially a Tron bike. It's supposed <laughs> to go fast. Yeah. Okay. So <laughs> that being said, if it goes fast, great, perfect. I would definitely want that first. Grifta, absolutely second, without a doubt. Um. Okay. So now I have the four left. Uh, I probably go with. The audio jack, just because it's a great product, and I could see it being useful for a very large amount of people. I've, I know I've talked to a lot of people in my life that have just destroyed headphone jacks. It's not just me. I know you might be one of the few people that are careful, as you put no, it. Man, I get it. I see I see the need. I've seen it happen. Yeah. I get it. It's just I don't need it. Especially when, people were, using, when people were using Skull Candy all the time. Almost everybody lost a pair of skull candy to some t- uh, to uh, wires breaking. Yeah, uh, so I'd no. say that is a close third. Uh, I go with the tables number four. The, the well, actually no, not number four. I I'd, I'd go with the the running shoes as a number four because it's a great product and it'll keep people safe. Safety is a big important factor. Safe, and I feel right. that uh, they're doing a good job by putting it out there. It's not a. It's they're pretty cheap. Not too bad. Um, the table is number five, and number six, I'd go with the um, the seals, the seals rapid tra- transition classes because <laughs> I can't guys. see myself ever needing that, and yeah. apparently a lot of people feel the same way as me. Put them, put them on a seal and laugh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Okay, guys, so what do you want, Gavin? For me, I would definitely go the. Tablet first, actually. Yeah, tablet. I'm really into the idea of being able to run my D&D campaign right there. Yeah, that is, cool. it, like, it has a lot of potential for a lot of different uses. You are right. It's a good product. I just, it's quite expensive for what it is. It is. It well, is. we're assuming it's super expensive I, with we, good reason. There's no way it's not. Let's be honest here. Dude, the, the first version of it has four terabytes of storage. Yeah, if, if and that's even, not including the solid state hard drive, which is another terabyte. If we yeah, don't even and that's look probably at, like four hundred dollars in the solid state drive. If we don't even look at the specs alone, just think about the fact that you have what's essentially I don't know, like uh, twins. a fucking flat screen TV yeah, you sized have, touch yeah. screen. That and it's touch screen too to to boot. Like your phone costs like eight hundred dollars, and it's like what fucking six inches long. I would go more based off of a tablet than a phone. Phones are jacked up because they attach to the cell phone contracts. Yeah. Go with the tablet pricing range. Okay, tablet pricing range still up there. It's about the same, like roughly. And then yeah. you're, you're taking that size and you're basically timesing it by like eight or ten. I mean, it's yep. it's a big it's going to be a big cost just alone for the screen and the the, the touch sensitivity. And then on top of that, you're adding all those specs, right? You're going to be at least in a couple thousand. Oh, definitely, but I still love it. So, yeah. yeah. It's my number one. Then the Grift, uh, because I would, would, can imagine using the button commands for League. Um, then the bike, because it's super dope. Oh, fuck. Uh, then Megs it, <laughs> because I don't run. <laughs> Megs it. And I also don't do anything requiring me to use goggles. Um, I think then the goggles, just because I can be really handy to get them. No, for... no, man. Get the Night Runners. Just because they're made for shoes doesn't mean you have to put them on shoes. It's true. <laughs> I'm still going to go with the Megza. It's true. Sorry, the Seals, because um, I when I do go swimming, I like to use goggles. Yeah, yeah that's fair. Uh, then I would go with Night Runner. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, to put this yeah. back into perspective... Uh, that custom electric uh, Tron bike, it yeah. looks like it has about the same power as a uh, a scooter. So, like, like a fifty cc scooter or uh, what? Like like um, uh, I don't know. Here, let me figure it out. Figure Is he, it. I I'm reading this article about a guy 
that made like this cheap scooter with like a 96 volt battery and he's getting like close to 70 miles per hour top speed yeah and this is going to be a heavier That's frame cool. too so he's probably only bad. getting he's only going to get probably 50k out of it that's not bad i yeah but i mean like you you couldn't take it highway i it's oh it's, no it'll be i you know, i would have to drop it the second and put the the grift it in front for first place because it just doesn't go, it doesn't have yeah. speed. Yeah. Well, I don't know if if it's uh, what if this I wanna... bike is. The speed is decent, but the range is shit. The range? Yeah. So he's like, uh, because he put a 96 volt battery onto this little thing. Yeah. With everything, and he's like, oh, I can get up to 70 miles per hour, but I only get about 15 to 20 miles range. Yeah, but Jeez. I mean, like. I could see the Tron bike being an in-town thing. It's you want people yeah. to look at it. Yeah. I I could see yeah. like it, it's going to be something that some guy in Vancouver or some or like a big city is going to just like drive around for I don't know like an hour. And he's going to plug Look it in somewhere dying because my dick is. <laughs> he's going to plug it in in somewhere because <laughs> he can, right? Uh, cause yeah, no, I get it. But I don't know it it has its uses, but I mean, it's for show. Yeah, it's oh, for definitely. show more than it is for actual use. Which is kind of sad. Know. Pick up chicks. Be like, look at my bike. I'm Tron. If you don't get in, I'm gonna kill you with my lights. They wouldn't get your joke anyway. I don't think they can get on. I think it's a one seater. It is a one seater. <laughs> <It's an laughs> <mountain laughs> they can't even pick so up chicks in this thing. My other problem with this is that it didn't look too comfortable to ride. I I saw a guy on it and like he was riding it. Didn't look all that comfortable. He, yeah, he, no, because he got he a lie down even, and like, like he was trying movie. to put his feet in like the feet holders, and he was just having a hell of a time with just it. Biffing he it. Just fucking had his feet basically dragging on the ground, and it was like, okay. I'm maybe waiting. Not. I'm waiting for the guy who buys it to go, yeah, and then he starts stopping, and his foot gets stuck in the holder, and it just falls, it just and falls like and one entire side is just oh, ruined. God, good old <laughs> plastic framing. Woo. Yeah, I'd like, I'd, like, okay. if it was. If it was fast, it'd be really cool, you it know. Would. But, but you know what? That's that's. I don't imagine these getting that much turning speed. Any like with the way it's designed, it's probably not going to get too much turning anyway. So no, I don't it's, think you want it, to go... it's this bike works through leaning mostly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, a lot of leaning. Which is why it has such a a, a wide wheelbase. Yeah. Because I mean, like to be honest, the Tron bikes they didn't really like they. I, <laughs> They're magic. They yeah. turn on a dime. Yeah, I was gonna yeah. say they got ninety degree turns, man. Okay, so we all they, get they our meant to go in a straight line most of the time, right? Yeah, I mean that's much. what that's what these bikes are made for. It so looks we all like agree that this the drift version of the Tron bike though has uh, the, it looks like the front half like swivels, so it could actually turn. Oh no! Yeah, no. The like the the it will turn. It's just no, no, go, go back to the lean. electronic bike. There's there's like. There's like a slanted line where it like it looks like the front half like detaches a bit, like so it, it could like it twists so it would turn. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have to Let's look at it that. again. Go back to it? No. Yeah. Man, this bike is getting a lot of traction. Yeah, we yeah. got it. Well I mean it's it's cool, right? It's, it's cool but it could oh, be this bad. this front end, it That's looks like it has line. a it looks like it tw- yeah, right it's there. Got a separation there, yeah. It looks like it swivels. Yeah, a little bit. The bottom line is that it it's cool, but cool it's, concept, it's not very practical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, all right. Sorry, they, Gavin. Guess that's our list. Yeah. Okay. So we've all given our lists. We know our opinions. We all really like the Grifta. Grifta. <sighs> we like the bike, and we also like the tablet. Tablet. Tablet, tablet. is great. Tablet's I great. Just like the, I like the word table. I just yeah. want to see myself playing like Fallout New Vegas or Fallout <laughs> Three on this table. <laughs> okay. So. That's our list. Um, type in the comments below what you would use the yeah, Grifta tell us, for. Tell us what you would use the Grifta for. Tell us how much you would pay for the light bike. <laughs> tell us tell us what business you're going to put the table in into for yeah. no reason. Yeah. Yeah. Tell us Are you going to make a channel well joint? joint? Waffles! <laughs> okay. Have a good one. See you later. Right. Good night. Bye. Bye.